I want to read you an article here from uh, the New York Post. Now, this article will make you understand how this world leaders are just playing with our minds have you realized that most of these world leaders they don't even care about the whole measures of the coronavirus uh most of them are just saying whatever goes goes you know we we just fool the public and they do whatever they can but us this there are some things that we know that they don't know okay now we have elon musk for those who don't know elon musk is the this is the the ceo for tesla and uh, spacex is a guy who has been taking people to the moon and back and uh this guy there's some things that he knows that we probably don't know and uh there's just a recent post actually i think it was released uh it's 29th september so it's just uh, not long ago it's saying that elon musk says he won't take the coronavirus vaccine and uh, he calls Bill Gates a knucklehead. <laughs> now, I want you to see this. There's something just funny about this. Now, listen to what he says. Huh? It says, SpaceX, SpaceX founder Elon Musk started the port yet again after claiming that neither he or his family, listen to this, would take the COVID-19 vaccine, even if it was readily available. These guys are saying, nah, we won't take it now. Let's listen to his reasons the 49 year old billionaire dropped the bombshell during a monday appearance on the new york times opinion podcast sway he says i am not a risk neither are my kids musk told uh, host kara swisha about the rationale behind his decision so he says during the bizarre exchange the tesla ceo de de decried the nationwide lockdown as a no win situation that has diminished my faith in humanity, all right? Musk previously called widespread quarantines unethical and de facto house arrests, all right? Instead of the current sweeping measures, the boring company boss suggested a more targeted lockdown where anyone who is at risk be quarantined until the storm passes, all right? So now you see these fellas are rather calling for a lockdown uh, and they're saying i mean they're, they're calling for a quarantine like pulling people and putting them in some place instead of locking down so that they can go on with their business and then they just quarantine some fellas who they want to eradicate from the face of the earth you, you see you see where this go this where, where this is going so they just want you quarantined somewhere so that you can stay in that camp, some concentration camp somewhere. And then you're like, they continue with their life and they do whatever they want. You know, the main issue here is just to make sure that you are not the person that we want here. We, we want you gone. All right. Now listen to this. Swisher criticizes suggestion, adding that humans could potentially die in the process. Yes, of course. If you quarantine people in one place... What do you expect? They will die. Everybody dies. Quipped Musk. Musk is saying, mm, everybody dies. We don't care. And listen to this. To emphasize the supposed ridiculousness of the quarantines, Musk boasted that SpaceX didn't, didn't skip a day through the entire pandemic. SpaceX, it did not skip a day during the entire pandemic. When we were locked in our houses, when we were quarantined in our houses, when we lost our jobs, when everything just went haywire, these fellas were working. You see how the world can fool you? Through the entire pand pandemic. We had national security clearance. You hear? They had national security clearance because we were doing national security work. So, what, what on earth is security concerning what on earth does elon musk have to do with security of the world what how is he protecting us with his tesla companies how is he protecting us by going to the moon now that is security security work according to you he said we sent astronauts to the space station and back so going to the space station does it even help us in anything do you think that we will eat space station 
Do you think that we will eat because people are going to the moon and back? How does it concern us? So how is that a matter of security? Later on, the automotive mongul addressed Bill Gates' criticism of his skepticism towards the coronavirus, which Musk called dumb in March. During a CNBC interview in July, the Microsoft founder claimed that Musk didn't know much about vaccines and he hoped that the SpaceX head doesn't confuse areas is not involved in too much. Now listen to these lies. Gates said something about me not knowing what I was doing. That is Musk telling uh, Swisher. It's like, hey knucklehead, we actually made the vaccine machines for CureVac uh, that company you interest in, that company you invested in you in, you have invested in he was referring to the fact that Tesla manufactures equipment for the German biopharmaceutical firm Kiovac. This past July, the car magnet sheds uh, shaded gates with a series of cryptic tweets that read, "Billy G is not my lover," and the rumor that Bill Gates and I are lovers is completely untrue. Now, one thing I like to tell you about this post is that these guys are just playing fools with us, all right? They think we're kids. They think, uh, you know, the common uh, human being can lose his jobs, but we are just going on with our, with our normal jobs. You know, I had, I had international security clearance to go to space and back and to continue doing my jobs. You know, Tesla is a big company. You know, we're not like these other knuckleheads down there who have nothing to lose, who have, you know... We have everything. We run this world. Let me tell you. The Bible tells us one thing. It doesn't matter who you are, what you are, or what. But <laughs> it tells us one thing. That we are the children of God. It doesn't matter who you are, what you are, what you've done, anything. If you're not saved, you're not a child of God. And where you're going is straight to hell. You're going straight to hell. You try to uh, um, uh, make other people, um, you know, have a bad life. You try to oppress other people. You try to make other people like your slaves so that you can have everything that the world can give. Let me tell you, only Satan has something to give about this world. But then he has a few to give here for only a short time. He knows, but he has a short time. But any believer, any persecuted person there, any believer, any Christian who is going through a hard time, and you know you believed in Jesus Christ, you're in a more better position than this. These fellas, I call them fools. These fools who think that they're going to run the world and they have clearance for their things. But as we are left here suffering and doing... No, let me tell you, we have a better place which is in heaven. And we are going there very soon. And these people can take the world. They can they can run it as they want. As they want. They will only run it for seven years after we are done. And after that, we are coming back in glory. We are coming back and we will kick all those Elon Muskers and uh, Bill Gates and all those other people. We will finish them one by only one word. I don't know which word is that Jesus will say when he lands his feet at, uh, the, mount, at uh, the mountain of olives. I just don't know what he will say, but I think he'll just say, it is done, and it will be done. Guys, don't worry about these guys, what they are saying. We are going home soon. And if you have never believed the gospel, please believe the gospel. The, the gospel is found in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. And it says, moreover, brethren, I declare unto you the gospel, which I preached unto you, which you received, and wherein you stand, by which also you are saved, if you keep in memory what I preached unto you, unless you believed in vain. For I delivered unto you first that which I also received, how that Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures, and that he was buried, and that he rose again the third day according to the scriptures. That is the gospel, my friends. If you believe that Jesus died and was buried and rose again the third day according to the scriptures for your sins, you're saved, my friends, and you're going. And you leave this world of these guys and Elon Musk and all these things that he's saying and all those beef these fellas are trying to show us. They'll be left here with them. Let's go home, my friends.